Hello friends, I am Dave Kram from Batting Programming. In this video, we will see how can we use the battery connection in a parallel. Okay, so how can we connect battery in a parallel? And if we will connect a battery in a parallel manner, then what uh, output will come? Okay, we'll check. For that, press Ctrl W, come to the component, come to the source. Okay, take power supply one, second one, and third one. Okay, take power supply second one and third one. Now, okay, so I am taking four values. Okay, six. Okay. It is it will be the one volt sorry uh, okay let's I'm not cancel okay let's connect in the parallel manner okay so we will see you know uh, we know uh, we all know very well so if we take the value of this battery this power supply so the value will be the 12 12 12 volt individually okay but if I will connect like this so it will be a series pattern okay it will be a series pattern but if i will take if i will make a connection like this okay so it will be a parallel connection okay it will be a parallel connection okay now take one ground also so let's measure what output will come Because uh, you cannot, because error, because uh, you cannot connect uh, this kind of uh, connection, you cannot use two, uh, more than two to three power supply together. Okay, so let's double click voltage and type it. That will give, it will give, okay. So we cannot measure the uh, same kind of power supply in a netlist manner. Okay, so. So netlist will can, uh, will not uh, cannot uh, simulate this thing. Okay. Yes, I want to. Now, if I will change the value, this is the 12 volt, 2 volt. Okay. 6 volt. Okay, and 4 volt. So what? So output will be. So again. It will show error. Okay. So if we we'll, uh, organize or if we we'll arrange and circuit in the parallel manner, so that is the wastage of power. Okay. So that is the wastage of power. So thank you for watching this video.